for this wicked world Your data's uncorrupted But does something skip inside you? That's hey guys, what's up? This is the app dude back with you again. Today I've got another app review coming your way, but first I want to show you our new channel. Um, obviously our old channel, you know all of that guys. Um, the app dude and then the iPod Man 20. Um, Evan, has, this is my channel right here. Um, 290 subs, come on guys, we're 10 away from 300. If I get 300 tomorrow, I'll have a promo code giveaway for 10 camouflage promo codes. But anyways, um, Evan and I, uh, iPod Man 20, put together this new channel. Um, it was released today, pretty much, and, um, we've got seven subscribers so far, uh, five, not including us, <laughs> but, um, I want you all to go ahead and check it out, guys, it's great, there's Evan, we've only posted one video so far, obviously, um, but we're, we're gonna have tons, guys, it's gonna be a really nice channel, and it's gonna be pretty sweet, um, thank you guys for the great feedback so far, and, um, this is gonna be pretty big, uh, with his great case reviews and my app reviews, we can go pretty far with this channel, so let's try and get this channel to uh, over 300 subscribers, guys. And uh, help me get there, so please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can click on the annotation down below to go there. It'll be here the whole video. The annotation will be here for the whole uh, video, so be sure to watch this app review, though, first. Alright, guys, so let's go ahead and get started for this app review today. Alright, guys, and today we are going to be looking at an app called Air Mouse. It's a very fun app, and it, um, it's more of an entertainment app, you know. Alright, well, what I did, guys, I just zoomed in, and here's the uh, mouse pad right here. So both hands on, as you can see, and there's the mouse cursor right there. So both hands on. Um, no hands are on the keyboard. So, guys, this is totally wireless. This is awesome. So you're just, this is basically like the um, laptop keyboard. You just tap the left hand button, and now we're going to Epic iPods. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Um, let's try that again. We're going to double tap Epic iPods. Um, why is it going to cancel? That's kind of weird. Uh, it's going into my documents. I don't want to save Epic iPods as anything. He's just a cool guy. But, um, besides that part. Um, yeah, there we go. And, um, it's very nice because, okay, we go up here in the top browser part. And we're going, we're using the mouse pad right now. And we're going to click that. And we're going to backspace it. And there we go. And so we're going to go to Twitter. So up here, it's going to show you TW. It's actually going to show you what you're typing. So that's very helpful. Twitter.com. And we're just going to click Return. And then it's going to take us to the website. And here's Twitter. So that's a uh, awesome feature, guys. There's Twitter right there. Um, and as you see, this app has like a lot of different features. Um, it's very nice, well-polished. Um, like I said, there's... Um, it has a bunch of features, and you can basically do anything you want. Okay, we're going to tap this button right here, and we're going to tap down. And this is a nice feature, too. What this does is you can switch between, um, if you have multiple tabs uploaded at the bottom down there, you see I have iTunes, and I have Google Chrome. Um, you're just going to tap the bottom arrow, and it's going to switch it to, like, whichever one you want to go to. So say I want to go to my home page. There it is right there, so we're just going to tap that left button. And it should take me right there, but I don't know why it didn't work that time. Okay, guys, here we go. So we're just going to tap one of these arrows. Here brings us into the browser, and you can switch between all the different ones that you have uploaded, all the different browsers, or whatever you have. So we're going to go into the iTunes store. So there it is right there. We're just going to left click on, on it right there, and it takes us right to the web page, and it sh pops up iTunes. Say we want to go back to Yahoo, or back to YouTube, just tap it again. There we go, and it says it sh there's Google Chrome right there. So that's an awesome feature, guys. And it does have the control alt delete, as you can see right there. Full, nice, well polished keyboard. It does have um like you know the emoticons if you have an another keyboard. And um you can take that off too if you want to. Or you, I mean you can like downsize it. And then there you get with the F1 keys. And um here you can scroll down to uh right. Use these buttons to scroll on the page. See there we go. And that moves it left and right. And you can also, there's the enter button, home button, page up and page down. See so another nice feature. Um, and this is for, um, like, all music. Here's the iTunes. So that's a pretty sweet feature. Okay, also, guys, you can control your iTunes library. If you just click that music button right there, we click play. 
and now it's playing a song, we can fast forward, and it'll go to the next song, and we can rewind or do any of that stuff. Um, now it's playing Shake a Leg, now it's playing Rock and Roll, Ain't No, whatever. Um, and then there's, of course, the button. We got menu, mute, number, um, up and down, and the sound. You can control the sounds. Volume up and volume down. You're controlling your computer sound, which is an awesome feature. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Like I said, just play it. Pause it. This is like the remote app, but like times three, times, no, five million, sorry. Ah, and so here's your keyboard right here, guys. Like I said, this app is amazing. It deserves 9.5 out of 10 rating. Um, like you said, you can do Control-Alt-Delete. There's the Microsoft feature. Um, and here you can have multiple computers set up. As long as it has the, um, as soon as you install the software, which click the link in the description, it takes five seconds. As soon as it's installed on your computer, you can automatically connect. Great feature, guys. Like I said, this app is great. You can do anything. I'm going to show you one more example. Real All right, guys, so we want to go and, um, now we're going to go to Yahoo and check and see if I have any mail. So we're just going to... What happened there? Okay. Hold on, guys. Alright, so it's tapped there. And um, we're going to... We're just going to link to highlight it. And I don't know why it's doing this, but we're going to go ahead and backspace all of this. And so there we go. As you can see, it's backspacing right now. And it does tap, tap pretty quickly. Just to show you as an example, we're going to tap a whole bunch of random letters. And as you see, it's showing up pretty quickly. But because I'm typing a lot, it doesn't show up as much. But when we type a little bit slower, like a normal person would type on the iPod, it goes a lot better speed. Okay, guys, so that's very sweet. Um, let's just go ahead and backspace all this real quick. And we're going to go to Yahoo.com real quick, just to show you guys a quick example. All right, so Yahoo.com. Uh, I spelled that wrong, so we're just going to go backspace. And we're going to type it in again. And because I have Google Chrome, we're just going to press a return. And now it's taking us to the website right now. And so there's the mail down there. So we're just going to use the mouse pad to navigate our way into the mail section. And there we go. I have two unread messages. So we're just going to click that left-hand button right there. And now it's going to take us into our mailbox. And we're going to go scroll over here. Um... Yes, yeah, so it's control pretty. It's pretty sensitive, so you make sure you're not going too fast or whatever. Um, and yep, there we go, right there. You can check your mail. Um, this is great if you're at a party or Wi-Fi or whatever. It's very nice, and I like it a lot. So um, be sure to check it out, guys. Um, and I hope all of you have a great day. And please remember to check out our other channel, link in the description too, and click on the annotation down below. I hope you enjoyed this app review. And if you have any questions about this or any other apps, please feel free to PM me. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and we will have many more videos to come in the near future. See you guys.